Is it wrong to leave food on my plate? Mom, I got invited to a dinner party to Mary's house this coming weekend, and I'm very nervous. Why are you so nervous? I'm not exactly sure how to behave. Shall I bring a gift or something? Some flowers will do just fine. When would be the proper timing to begin eating? Begin eating only after all the other guests are served and the host says bon appetit. How should I use the silverware? You should start from the outside and move in. Is it okay to use my hands? It's okay to use your hands for specific foods like bread or fruit. Is it all right to talk during the meal? Yes, but try to avoid talking with your mouth full. Is it rude if I serve myself? No, it's not, but it's better if you ask the host first and offer some to other people. And don't reach across someone's plate for an item. Ask for it to be passed to you. Remember to say thank you. What should I do if I don't like the food? Better don't eat it in this case. Try not to say anything negative to the host about the food. Is it wrong to leave food on my plate? Make sure you only take the amount of food you can eat so that you shouldn't leave food uneaten. What do I do if I spill something? In this case, quietly excuse yourself and clean up in the bathroom. What if I need to blow my nose? Excuse yourself and go to the bathroom. What is done with the napkin after I use it? Shall I throw it away? No, just leave it on the plate. Stop worrying. I'm sure everything will be fine. You have to finish school first. What's wrong, Lily? Why do you have such a long face? I'm so disappointed I didn't win the dancing competition today. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you because you worked really hard. Life is not about winning. It's about the experiences you get throughout and the friends you make along the way. You won new friends, amazing memories, and learn lessons you will never forget. You're right. I learned a lot from this experience. You have many other talents. I'm sure you'll get a great job someday. Yes, I can draw really well. Maybe I'll be a great fashion designer one day. You can also speak French and Spanish pretty well, so you could work in an international company. Gee, that sounds interesting. I'll also probably travel abroad a lot. Anything is possible. And I'll probably get married to a handsome... Okay, okay, Lily. Don't get carried away. You have to finish school first. Oh, I know. But it's good to have dreams, right? Dad is embarrassing. Mom, you need to talk to Dad about his hairstyle. What about it? Well, it's such an inappropriate hairstyle for a man his age. What do you mean? He is still young. He's only 42. That's not what I meant. But can't he just get a haircut and have a more decent hairstyle like the other dads? I think his current hairstyle is very decent and suits him very well. It's the way he likes it, and I like it too. He's a creative and artistic type of man. He stands out from the crowd, you know. I think my colleagues were making fun of him the other day when he showed up at school. They were whispering to each other, 
I'm sure they were talking about his strange look. He's embarrassing me. Eric, you need to worry less about what your friends might be thinking and more about hurting your dad's feelings. I can't ask him to change his look just because your colleagues find it strange. Hmm. You have a point there. I don't want to hurt dad's feelings. Next time they laugh, I'll just try to ignore them. At the police station. Okay, now can you describe the man you saw in the bank? Well, he was medium height and quite skinny. And he had a beard and a little mustache. I'd say he was in his 30s. And what about his hair? He had short, dark hair. Straight? No, curly. So, dark, curly hair? Yes. What was he wearing? He was wearing a dark sweatshirt and jogging trousers. And I remember he was wearing a pair of white sneakers. For how long did you have this man in your sight? About two minutes. Did you have a good view of this man? Yes, I did. Was the man you saw wearing glasses? No, he was not. Did you notice if he was carrying anything? Yes. He was carrying a brown suitcase. Was there anything unusual in the appearance of this man? I don't recall anything unusual in the man's appearance. I'm looking for some shampoo. Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for some shampoo and conditioner with more natural ingredients. For dry hair or normal hair? Dry, please. I recommend this set with coconut. It will do wonders with your hair. Coconut really helps moisturizing your hair. It leaves it smelling good and soft. Sounds exactly what I need. I'll take it. Do you want a large or small size? Small, please. That's $12.99. Anything else? Yes. I need some toothpaste for gum problems, but I'm not sure which one is best. This one is the best toothpaste for all gum problems. Not only does it improve the health of your gums and stops bleeding and sensitivity in your teeth, but it also whitens the teeth. Really? Then I'll take it. Large or small? How much is the large one? It's $6.92. Okay, I'd like the large size then. Is that all? Yes, that's fine, thanks. That will be $19.91. Here you go. Thanks. What would you do? Kevin, what would you do if you won the lottery and became very rich? Well, if I won the lottery, first of all, I would pay off all my debts. Then I would buy a lot of things. Like what? What is it that you need? I would buy a house and a new car. Where would you like to live? Would you move to a different place? No, I wouldn't because I love this city. I have my family here and a lot of wonderful friends. And what else would you do? I would travel to many beautiful places and I would help people in need. Would you stop working if you were rich? I most likely would stop doing what I'm doing now and focus on doing other things that I think I would enjoy more. And there's one more thing I just thought of. What's that? I would write a book outlining how to ditch the day job and live your dreams. With or without a lottery win. An embarrassing situation. How have you been, Sarah? I've been good. Swimming and going to the gym. You've been working out? 
Yeah, I've been trying to get in shape. How about you? How's the band going? It's going well. We're going to do a gig in Cobra Lounge on Saturday night. I hope you'll be able to come. Sure, I'll be there. By the way, is it true that Greg Stoll is your new drummer? No, I'm afraid he's not. Dan Young is our new drummer. Really? I must have heard wrong then. Well, not quite. Greg told me he could play drums very well because his uncle was a great drummer and asked if he could join the band. I told him he could give it a go. So we got together in my basement. But as soon as he started playing, I realized he couldn't play drums at all. He was a total beginner. Really? So what did you do? It was so awkward. I couldn't let him join the band, so I told him he was not the right person for that job. We needed someone professional to be able to make records and keep advancing as a band. How terrible. It must have been really embarrassing. Tell me about it. He's so upset that he won't even speak to me. I'm sure he'll soon get over it. I hope so. Mother's birthday presents. Hey, Paul, what are you doing here? Hi, Monica. I'm looking for a present for my mom. I have no idea what to get her. Is it her birthday soon? Yes, it's her birthday this weekend. What about something to wear, like that beautiful blouse? I bought her a blouse on Christmas, so I'm looking for something different this time. I see. How about a beautiful bag? She'll love it. I already considered that, but it's too expensive. I don't have so much money. Then you could buy her some candles. There are lots of beautiful candles on top of that shelf over there. Do you think she'd like that? My mom doesn't like candles because of fire hazard. Okay, no candles. Why don't you buy her some perfume? She doesn't wear perfumes because she gets migraines from strong smells. So I'm afraid it's not a good idea. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe you could buy her some books. Currently, many of the titles here are on clearance, so they're 25% off the regular price. Really? She loves to read. That sounds perfect. Thanks for your help. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.